A very good morning to one and all present here. Today is like any other day for the people outside, but for the IDF family, today is very special. Because we have completed 30 successful years of serving India. It feels great to be a part of this gathering who have joined hands together to serve our very own country. When I said our very own country, I'm quite sure that all of you would have thought just about India. No doubts about it. Then let me all ask you a question. How many of you are proud to be an Indian? Yes, that's nice. All of us are proud to be an Indian. Each and every one of us are proud of this nation. But why? Why are we proud of India? Because it's my country. I was born here. It's my motherland. And many other reasons. You name it. But are we a responsible lot? If yes, how strong is our sense of responsibility? Let's see. How many of us take our time from our daily lives and think, what's wrong in my country? What's my role in the betterment of this country? There are a very few. And our dearest Pillai Tata and the dignitaries sitting on the stage have been some of them. And they have been showing the others the way. I have been inspired by many people to do something for the society. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of India, has been my inspiration and he has shown each one of us how to dream and realize them. His three visions for India, freedom, development and India's recognition at the world level will be achieved by us, the young generation of India, who are in full of spirit to work for the country. India and Indians must be respected. We must be self-reliant, which will lead us to our self-respect. We must work harder to bring about a recognizable change. We have attained freedom after a very long struggle and pain. And in the past few decades, we have had a tremendous development. Our GDP is one of the highest in the world. And with this pace going higher, we will be able to achieve the 2020 goal shown to us by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Now when we take a look at the other side of India, we see that we are not really the best. We are trying to be better, but we have not tried to be the best. Our country is facing a lot of problems, and for every problem, we blame it on someone else. If the garbage is not cleaned, we blame it on the municipality. But taking a look at Singapore, you will see that not even one citizen will, do will dare to throw even a chocolate wrapper on the road. But here, we have almost made our roads and footpaths our bins. Aren't we irresponsible? We must maintain some social responsibility and cultivate such responsibilities in our fellow citizens too. We must maintain cleanliness, discipline and responsibilities towards our country. This does not mean that we should leave our jobs and work towards this cause. What I say is that we must do our part as a responsible citizen by contributing some of our ideas, time and wealth. Remember, drop by drop makes an ocean. And in the same way, when the whole country comes together, I am quite sure that we will go ahead of others in every possible positive way. And hoping that my words would have brought out more responsible and efficient young citizens for the country, I conclude with the thought that has always influenced me. In life, what you focus on is that all you will see. Thank you and have a fabulous Friday ahead. Jai Hind!